Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello, and welcome back to the channel where behind me, we have hypercars set for drag races. It's SOC, Supercar Owners Circle. We've got Koenigseggs, Paganis, Bugattis, so many epic cars, and we've got a big runway. We're here at Granada Airport in the south of Spain. This is about three kilometers, two miles. We've got cars going head to head. We've got cars going on their own. Koenigseggs that could easily do 400 kilometers an hour, 250 miles per hour down this runway, only on SOC. See, do you see lineups like this? I don't know where this is going to go, but today it's going to be mega. Let's watch the action unfold and go for a run in my Ford GT later on as well. Let's do this. Let's check this out. Mike with his Honda F. We've got the one to one LaFerrari Harlequin 918. Here we've got some heavy hitters Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus, Koenigsegg Regera. Koenigsegg Yesco. We've then got, look at this, the CCX, Daytona SP3, 918, beautiful Regera, Monza SP2. These are the best hypercars in the world lining up for drag races. It's about to be wild. Um, I don't quite know how this is going to unfold. Yesco, I mean, LaFerrari sounds amazing. One to one, we know is exceptionally fast. The Zonda's exhaust is unreal. Launch of the 918, the Chirons. Omid is here with his Chiron as well. I mean, where do you even look? Where do you look? Right, we need to get over towards the start for the runs. Rolling to the start, 918 Zonda F. And a big old runway open in front. Literally a runway where you normally would see Boeings and Airbuses land. Today, we've got a different kind of aircraft. Hopefully the cars stay on the ground, but uh, yeah, opens up in front, giving the instructions, the go ahead, preparing. And then we're going to have some launches and the car's making a move. The sound of that Zonda. Of course, the 918 was off and gone. Wow. It looks like it's about to get very real out here. We've got the Bugatti Chiron 300 Plus. We've got the Koenigsegg Regera in full KNC. Koenigsegg's Naked Carbon. Are they going alongside one another? Are we about to see two heavyweights, the record holder for zero to 400 kilometers an hour back to zero, the fastest car in the world when Bugatti did the test at Air Alessine, the one direction of 304.77 miles per hour. I know giving different metrics here. And then behind them, Regera and one to one. Uh, yeah, this is a battle I'm sure I'm not alone in wanting to see. Let's watch this unfold and see these two cars going head to head on the drag strip here at SOC. This is not something you often see and it's about to get very, very real in front of our eyes. Drivers just being given the prep, the information that they need ready for the run. Let's get ready to see this. Regera is away. Direct drive. Chiron just had a pause. The sound from the Regera. Oh, there we go, Chiron's off. Chiron is off. Next though, is the incredibly cool Dutch Police 918 Spider police livery against an F12 TDF which has not been scared of shredding its rear tires the last few days. Looks and sounds amazing. So uh, I think the money's in the 918 corner, but we shall see how this unravels. That sounded amazing. But the 918 has indeed pulled away. TDF, I think, had it off the line without the full launch control. Insane. No, this went wrong. We feared this might happen. The light bar came off the 918 at speed. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. It's the one to one and the Regera. All right then, ready for the flag drop. Regera has taken it. The Regera is off. 
Next up, Omid with his Bugatti Chiron Sport, ready for the run. Gonna have a good time in that against the LaFerrari in Rosso Fuoco. Stunning paint color. We'll get to the cars that are next, next. But for now, it's gonna be Chiron against LaFerrari. This is interesting. We've got the 8 liter quad turbo W16 with one and a half thousand horsepower, as literally Omid's plate tells us, up against Ferrari's hybrid 6.3 liter V12, 963 horsepower, but all wheel drive for the Chiron. It's gonna be off the line faster, I would expect. I think the LaFerrari is away. But I expect further down this runway, the Chiron is going to be catching and potentially overtaking. What a launch. Next up, look at this Chiron. It is beautiful. The nectarine interior, blue tint carbon for the rear, pearl white paint at the front. And of course, on the other side, the Porsche 918 Spider with its hybrid V8 configuration. That is non-Visac. Visac gives you a little bit more downforce, but that's actually impeding performance on a drag strip. I would expect the 918, which really is a wizard in terms of its computer work off the line, is going to take this. We've got the start though, so let me run around to the side. That was cool. Man 18 has it. It takes a brave person to go down a drag strip in a Monza SP2 <laughs> with no roof. Goggles though, very clever. So we've got SP2 against SP3. Look at that, look at that. This is amazing. Yesco, oh the Ford GT doesn't want to go up against the Yesco. That's very, very one-sided. Look at that thing, right. Oh, they've got helmets, good. <laughs> needed, 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 needed. Both cars, rear-driven Ferrari V12s, no hybrid assistance, six and a half litres, times two. A sweet, sweet symphony. I just feel for the guys in the Monza right now because that's going to be intense at that speed. Intense. But it's Yesco time. The Koenigsegg Yesco on the drag strip. This is happening. The car from Carrage, Yesco Attack, of course the Absolute, which is the version aiming for high speed without a massive rear spoiler, with slipperier, more streamlined bodywork, would be your track focused version that we're looking at here. But regardless, 1,600 horsepower, five liter twin turbo V8, and this is running on E85. This is very capable of 400 kilometers an hour down this straight, E85 as opposed to pump gas. Very, very capable. And again, in Koenigsegg's KNC, Koenigsegg Naked Carbon, which is effectively polished carbon rather than lacquered or painted, which is even lighter, saving every bit of weight. So, flag drop. The shift, the light speed transmission. Those shifts are insane. Wow. This is a cool matchup. Ferrari Scuderia Spider 16M, one of 499, celebrating Ferrari's 16th Formula One World Championship at the time it was introduced, and Bugatti's EB110. The EB110 being the quad turbo, well, it feels like a long time ago now, but it's actually not all that long. The wedge shape that was distinct before the 2000s, and a car that was really a massive game changer at the time anyway. I think we've got the thumbs up, so just wait for the runway to be clear. And then it's a... Uh... Okay, cool points or what? With the F1 gearbox. <laughs> he just laid it down. Dawn versus DBX. Oh, the Dawn has it off the line. I think the DBX is uh, taking the lead now. Ferrari F12 TDF, Tour de France. McLaren 765 LT Spider, MSO Cerulean Blue. Both rear driven, similar levels of power. TDF is certainly heavier, and obviously front mid engine as opposed to mid rear of the LT, which 
in terms of weight. For a launch, you want the weight at the back. Casual's under with Mike's deafening new exhaust. We'll get it here. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> right, ready for the race. Next up, Mike's Pagani Zonda F. This is gonna sound amazing. This sounds absolutely amazing. Ferrari 458 Italia over on the other side. Obviously quite a few people around checking out the Zonda. Let's uh, take position, get ready for this. off the line is silly genuinely silly here we go again Koenigsegg Regera Koenigsegg naked carbon and running E85 Koenigsegg direct drive no gearbox bizarre technology and on the other side is the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus limited to only 30 cars of course commemorating Bugatti's achievements setting records with that car this is the head-to-head -head of all head-to-heads right now. Koenigsegg versus Bugatti. The Regera versus the Chiron Supersport. And we are about to see it happening right here at Supercar Owners Circle. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The guys setting up their cars, getting ready for the launches, getting everything set correctly. Okay, I think it's time. I think it is time. Fully prepped. The thumbs up have been given. I think the Regera is off in front. The Chiron is certainly catching it. Your guess is as good as mine as to which is in front right now. I think the Regera might have had that, you know? Looking at what happened and casually there's the Chiron Sport and one-to-one -one here. That was that was amazing. That, that actually happened. Regera versus Super Sport. And now we have one-to-one -one and Chiron Sport. As you do, let me squeeze round towards the back. So we've got to hear as much of this as possible. Get the view where we can see the flags being waved. See the cars off the line. has it. The hypercars keep on rolling around. La Ferrari, Regera. <laughs> oh, it's silly. Chiron, Daytona. We're getting a great mix of cars going head to head here. La Ferrari's just sound amazing. Obviously, everyone is learning their launch controls. Not the easiest things in the world with these cars and a lot of pressure being out here on the runway as well. <laughs> are running like crazy here. Love this car, it's definitely one of the favorites at this event. It looks like we've got Ford versus Ferrari. How very Le Mans 66 that is. FTL TDF, Ford GT. Technically the Ford GT obviously has less power, this car is running in regular mode, should be down in velocity mode, drop the suspension, even more suited to this kind of thing. Obviously it's very windy out here, so I do apologize for any wind noise on the video, but worth it for what we're able to see unfolding in front of our eyes. TDF is off, looks like 4GT is catching. 
Yeah, it's out in front. Bugatti Chiron, Porsche 918. Looks like people are just shuffling. Let's work out who's going to be racing who next. It's kind of a scramble of hypercars. And then you've got the, is that the one-to-one -one coming towards us? It's hard to tell with the sunshine glistening so brightly off every car. I'm just hoping that my camera is pointing in the right direction because obviously I can't really see the screen. Looks like the one-to-one -one is coming through. Are we going to have one-to-one -one Chiron? Is that about to happen? That would be cool. That would be a very cool matchup. It's Chiron versus 918. I like this because while technically both are Volkswagen Group vehicles, it's a really cool matchup every single time with these two cars. They're so quick off the line, full on launch controls. Obviously very, very fast at the high end. The Chiron is massively faster once you're 200 miles an hour or faster. But from what we can see here, it's a pretty cool pairing of them going. <laughs> 918's away, Chiron bogged slightly. Now it's off. The thuds of that gear shift. 918 Daytona. <laughs> Slight jump. 918 definitely had a small jump off the line there. Next, one to one, Zonda, Koenigsegg Pagani. All right. Let's get ready for this matchup. Pagani's under F, Koenigsegg one to one, side by side on the SOC drag race, waiting for the all clear. Then it's gonna be time to have quite the sound. In fact, the two cars together. Right. <laughs> Of course, the one-to-one -one is way out ahead, but the sound of the Zonda, you hear it shifting through every gear, all the way to the end of the runway, when it starts to break. This is fun, on the airport departures board, the next flight is about an hour or two after we finish to London Gatwick. <laughs> a little bit delayed, oh well. Big battle now, big, big battle. Koenigsegg Regera, Koenigsegg Yesco, both from Carrage. This is a, uh, yeah, this is a head-to-head -head that's gonna be cool to see. I wish we had more by way of the results from further down the runway, but alas, there's one of me. I'm doing the best I can to see the cars off and see how they're shaping up as they make some progress down the runway. <laughs> the Regira had it from the line, but the Yesco is gone. The Yesco is out in front. The sounds are so different. The very high-pitched, fast-revving Yesco, and then the Regera with its deep grumble and no shift. Chiron 300 plus. Regular Bugatti Chiron. It's crazy to say regular Bugatti Chiron, but that is the caliber of the cars at this event. Both cars are launching. Slightly bogged. The 300 plus bogged down. Oh, always bad luck. The blue Bugatti Chiron was on a move though. I don't think Omid's gonna win this race, but uh, he's going for it. <laughs> Omid, you've lost. Those were some serious launches. The 918's out in front. I think the Regera will catch and sail through. And they are off. That actually shows you the difference between launch control or not, because the launch control of the blue Chiron pulled it away from the line quicker than the 300 plus. The shifts from the Yesco are epic. 
so fast. It's finally time to go for a drive. I'm wearing my high-vis jacket because I'm sure it gives me at least 50 horsepower extra because we're going to go alongside the Chiron with Omid. It's literally got about triple the power that mine does. Um, we know which way that's gonna go, but you know what? It's time to have some fun. Let's hop in. First thing is to make sure that launch control is activated. Second thing, into park. Then let's go to velocity mode here, VMAX mode, which drops it down, keeps the wing down once you've started driving. We'll keep it in automatic though, because <laughs> It's Chiron race time. Um, wish me luck. We need it. That thing is going to leave us. Gosh, I've not done a full high speed run with this since the Quicksilver upgrades, but the runway is beckoning. Where do we line up? Where are we? Where are we going? Where does he want us to be? Right, we've given the thumbs up. We are gonna have the flags waved in a second for launch control in here. It's foot on the brake, foot flat then on the throttle, lift the brake and off we go. So let's wait until the flags <laughs> get waved. <laughs> I can't believe that we're going for a drag race against a Bugatti Chiron right now, but needs must and all. I think Ahmed's gonna have this just a bit, but we will have some fun. It's a very long runway in front of us and having watched so many cars go up here, it was overdue that we would do it in mine while we're here. Not the fastest of the Schmiemobiles, but the car that I've brought for this road trip, for this tour. I think he's getting set. We're probably waiting, there we go. Go! <laughs> he has given me a bit of a head start. Okay, 90 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, 110 miles an hour, 120 miles an hour, 130, 140, 150, 160, where's the Chiron? There he goes, look at that! 170 miles an hour and that's how he goes past us, 180 miles per hour. Wow. We've actually got a very long runway to let it ease off. <laughs> Tell you what, even in VMAX mode, which doesn't have the wing for downforce, this car is very stable. That was fun. That was really fun. 52 litres per 100 kilometres. I don't know what that is in MPG, but it's not pretty. It was probably worse than that, actually, before we slowed down ready for the run back. Uh, we are going straight back to the far end to go and watch some more action unfolding. In fact, I don't think very many of the cars have packed up. We have a whole parking area over to the left here at the terminal, but not many people are over there because I guess everyone is making the most of the runs here. I can see a few cars like the 765, Regera, Harlequin 918. Maybe they're getting ready to leave, but we are going back to the start line. We're going to go again for GT versus for GT. So it's time to go back out, get lined up. Obviously this is um, in theory like for like, but let's see exactly how it unravels. Out we roll. So just leave the car in full automatic for this kind of thing, or otherwise you're guaranteed to miss a shift in the moment. But I think he's coming with us to line up. No pressure then. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> okay, put on the brake. Get ready. Launch. Go. Oh, pretty equal departure. It's in the exact dead equal heat. <laughs> That's quite funny. As we get to 150 miles per hour, no change. Sitting right over my left shoulder. That's genuinely fascinating. And at 185, we will get on the brakes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ford GT versus Sport GT. I need to do a little bit more braking. And there we have it. And there we have it. Apologies for the full blast of air conditioning that we have at the moment. But we have departed from the taxiway, driving back across the aprons. I imagine that there are many of the cars parked up over here. Hopefully, we can find somewhere for a quick refreshment because it's quite intense being out in the sunshine, filming all of the cars. But what an epic experience to see all of this, to see all of these cars going head to head. Where else will you see the latest Bugattis and Koenigseggs racing each other? Truly, truly unbelievable. I just mind-bendingly epic, to be completely honest. Totally, totally, totally epic. Our time on the runway has come to an end, but what a day this has been. 40 or 50 of the best cars in the world going head to head, blasting down the runway here at Granada Airport. That has been unbelievable, all thanks to Supercar Owners Circle. Nobody else does it quite like this. Bugattis, Koenigseggs, the Zonda, all of the other cars, the entry car being things that are just unbelievable. And now the last few cars are here. It's time to pack up. It's time to head on back. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. The Supercar Owners Circle Spain weekend has been truly epic. That's it for this time, though. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.